Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this day four of the 2012 Christmas tournament casts for Akron. This is the cast for a tournament that Rockmox did a couple weeks ago, and we are very near to the end. So, today we're going to be basically going through the entire loser's bracket, just finishing that up, starting with Ferder versus Vermind, and then whoever wins there against JRC, and then whoever wins there against Rockmox in a best of three to fight Kron Aberrant and ultimately try to win the tournament. So, let's get started with Ferder versus Vermind on Act Natural. Now, Act Natural is a map we've seen in exhibition matches a fair amount, but I don't recall it coming up in the tournament thus far. So I'll just go over it fairly quickly. There's a main base in the bottom left and the top right, expansions along the north and northwest, south, and every... All the edges have expansions. The natural expansions are pretty obviously very near the main bases. Very common are the Northwest and Southeast expansions. Players very frequently take those. They're safe out of the way, very hard to harass. There are also two center expansions, which can be riskier, but if your opponent doesn't really go there, you have large QP crates that will allow you to have a bit more con well, bit stronger economy going on without having to have so many there's so much territory control. Anyhow. Vermind starting out with Vector, he's moving out his starting inventory all the way to Ferreter's base while getting another Zion Veer to use for building RPs. Interesting choice. Ferreter, on the other hand, is Grekum. He is getting up his well starting economy just saw before he jumped back to the second mark. So Vermind, interestingly scouting with all of his infantry, I don't know if he's I think he's planning on doing more than just scouting. You don't send all of your infantry for simply a scout mission. You send them for heavy assault, although Vekir being Vekir, their infantry aren't as effective in combat in general. Anyhow, Ferreter is going to find them with his Octo, which will be able to, well, actually will know about them, but will not stop them. They are act they are not even attack moving, they are simply moving. So Vermint, I think he's going for a proxy. That's the only thing that comes to mind. His Zion Veer will be going down fairly quickly to the Octo, but not before it reaches the main base, or at least not before the other two reach the main base. But it looks like Vermine has changed this up, and he is in fact attacking the Octo, killing it off, and not losing a single infantry in the process. So Ferreter is going to be having some Veers knocking on his door very soon. At least, around the 3 minute mark or so. So I'm going to start hitting him, and that's going to be a bit painful, but it shouldn't be too terribly bad from what he has. I mean, Ferreter, he's jumped back to the 136 mark. Really, only uses a couple Octos. And it looks like the one he has is actually just going straight past, not even trying to fend off the infantry, just distracting them a little bit while going to the main base, not even bothering with defense. Probably the best idea, double check if there is in fact an all-in coming, or if this is just a bluff, and it is possibly a bluff. Like I said, I'm not sure what Vermind is doing with all three infantry types going towards Ferreter's base, but this battle keeps getting remicro, and it looks like Ferreter is not going to be fighting off these Veer in at all, actually. That's rather odd. I mean, if you... No, it looks like even further further to the present, they are not actually going to the main base. So, no, that is completely undone from the looks of it. So now I'm really not sure what Vermind had in mind, which bothers me. I don't like not knowing what players are doing, but like I said, these this course of action doesn't seem to lend itself to any sort of strategic advantage. You, a lot of money being thrown out, and the only thing I can think of is assault. But at the same time, he is building up his, his economy in the back. So that looks like a bluff. It looks like he's just trying to do that to distract Ferreter and make him think something's up, make him worry a bit. Getting an early Octopod, certainly in that regard it's worked, but I think Ferreter was going to go for the early Octopod anyway. Grecon players tend to out of defense, just in case an early Zion Pulsar rush or anything else like that comes up. Ferreter knows this isn't going to happen because he sees the Octo sees all this stuff, all of these RPs here. Though Vermine has gone and changed it up a bit, he has built fewer RPs earlier on getting an early foundation for a depot, well relatively on time actually, three minutes in, not especially early, but still, Ferreter is well equipped to defend against this, there's going to be no problems, and Vermind looks like he's settling his infantry in, no he is going to attack, I was going to say he's going to settle his infantry in to attack the natural if it comes up, but he is going into the main base and checking if anything is there, this will be, like I said, kind of useless, the Octopod will defend just fine. But he is going to be able to see what's going on. Like I said, I don't know why he spent all of this, well, free infantry, but still. I don't know why he used all that here, because now he had to build two more Zion, Zion Beers in his main base. One for Zion Pulsar, one for 
expansion. So like I said, I'm really not sure what his plan was here. And anyway, Ferreter... Ferreter's going to be defending us. It's just fine. I should be able to. Anyway, the Octopod will be in place. He is moving it... He is moving on a patrol. So Vermind is going to be running into that as soon as... Well, as soon as the green time wave comes along, or... As, yeah, pretty much that's it. As soon as the green time wave comes along, Ferreter not... Should not be concerned about this. Really, this is too much money for an expand. This is too much money for scouting. I realize that this is coming up and dealing some damage, but really, for the amount of damage that will ultimately be dealt when you consider the octopus will be built in here, it's not worth it. Ver Vermine should have kept those guys at home or scouted out a little bit or spread out scouting, double checking this expansion over the corner, the expansion over in his own corner, his own natural expansion, and just double checking all of that to make sure that Ferreter wasn't doing anything tricky. Instead of putting all his eggs in one basket and going straight to the main base, which, as we can see, ends up getting them all killed. So, Vermind will probably be sending these troops back home. It looks like they are... No, they're staying outside the expansion. Well, staying outside the ramp to Ferreter's main base. They might just be here to figure out what's going on. So, I guess this is not a this isn't a bad place for one of them to stay, but all three of them is a bit wasteful. And where is that depot? I realize Verma doesn't have a whole lot of resources here, but really, he should be building a depot here. So, Ferreter, probably going to be building... Yeah, he's getting his two key PRPs. Probably going to build a reef fairly soon, but at this point, he doesn't even have to worry about tech too much. He knows he doesn't. His opponent, he knows, is not really pushing that hard either. So he can just build up more economy and then work from there to get a great tech push when he actually goes for it. But I would expect a reef within the next minute or so, otherwise I'd start to get a bit worried. Vermind! His base has not yet built a depot. I am very confused about his course of action right now. And now I've become less confused because that depot exists. So a depot will be coming, this sign beer should become a Zion Pulsar, and probably this one too from the looks of it, or he'll build another one straight from the depot itself. But for the LC he has, he's probably not going to be able to. He's probably going to have to use both of these Zion Veers to become Zion Pulsers. And that will be just fine. The Seppi's here. Here's the Reef I was talking about. Ferreter getting that up. His Octopod's still patrolling, so we don't have to worry about defense too much. But once those Zion Pulsers come in, these Reefs are going to be the main reason the Octopod has a chance. The Octopod is caught around here-ish. At this end of its patrol route, where it's outside of the range of the Reefs, it's going to have a bit of a problem. Those Zion Pulsers will be able to kill it without too much issue. Like I said, Zion Pulsers will lose to Octopods 1 on 1, but 2 on 1, Zion Pulsers will win every time. So, the only way that Octopods can win is with Reef support, or with other units, and you know, having more than one Octopod. But in this particular case, Reef support is going to be his best, his best asset. Vermind would have to hit when the Octopod is outside of Reef Heal range, which is at this end of its patrol route. I don't think Vermind is aware of this, though, and he is sending his Zion Veer. I. This looks like a command mistake. No, he is getting Zion Pulsers as well as these two Zion Veer. Sorry, we... I don't mean to be too shocked. We just don't see infantry used on its own very much in large quantities. Usually for Vecchio, infantry is only used as a way of more quickly... or as a more quickly getting vehicles or spacing out the acquisition of vehicles. And for any other purpose is deemed completely useless. I'd love to be proved wrong, but it's not panned out thus far any experiments to use infantry well. However, comm hubs also haven't panned out well, despite the fact that I do personally very much like comm hubs and their use in scouting. I don't understand why it was placed here. Placing it here would have been great. Placing it right so it would have been able to watch this expansion, watch people going through there, or placing it around. Well, I can't really easily... Placing it here actually would have been nice, because he would have been able to see into the main a bit, and would have been able to see the natural very easily. So he would have known if Ferreter had gone for any expansion attempts. Well, Ferreter is, in fact, going for tech. He is getting advanced structures, he will be able to get air units, and he has enough QPRPs to be able to get Sepipods easily, and Faropods with a bit more difficulty, but still fairly quickly. Either way, these Zion Pulsers need to hurry, and I don't know if they can hurry, hurry fast enough. For the amount of money that... Ferreter is getting and the tech that he's going to have by now, I think there's no way that these Zion Pulsers can do any real damage, and they've, yeah, they've lost their window. They're not even trying to go into Ferreter's base. So Ferreter will be fine. He is moving out, actually, with Octopods attacking the infantry coming up, and they are going down. Vermind is going to be remicroing this, but he might just be remicroing to send it back and then keep these Zion Pulsers available for defense to get rid of that Octopod, because like I said, that Octopod, without reef support, is going to die. 
But clearly, Ferreter is not worried about that right now. He's instead worried about getting just some damage dealt before his Sippy Pods come up. Or further Ox Buzz, for that matter. But like I said, he does have a Spire. He does have the possibility of getting Aryans. So he just needs the QP to do it. And he has enough QPRPs to be able to purchase some. But the Octopod managed to kill only about 70 LC worth of infantry, so not a huge payback. Really, that's that's slightly against Ferreter there. So Vermind right now, I'd say, is a slight advantage, but Ferreter is still in a safe spot. He has the Reef's support. He has a Spire, so he's got easy tech. Vermind just getting his aerial control center at this time, the 724 mark. Jumping forward to 754 mark, the ACC is done. The Spire still has not been used, but then again, Ferreter is not paying attention to this point in time. So, Vermind also not attacking. He has gotten his Zion Pulses into a good position, but that's just the center of the map. He needs to get into this base, and right now, too many Octopods, too many Reefs. No way to really do that, but he could contain, he could expand from here, and he already got one RP over in this Risky expansion I mentioned earlier. Nothing in the Natural, nothing in this corner expansion. And that is going to be really his only way out of this, because Grekin Turtling is extremely difficult to break. And here comes the Seppi Pod, too. That's going to be difficult. So the Zion Pulsar is giving it a shot, but they are not going to succeed by any stretch of the imagination. These reefs are going to be way too much to deal with. Really, what Ferreter needs to do is try to contain, try to stop... Sorry, what Vermin needs to do is try to stop Ferreter from expanding. Ferreter needs to just build up a bit, maybe expand a bit, and then push out, and he'll be fine. But Vermine needs to get more economy going, more expansion. Nice use of this Nook, however. He is getting into a position where only the Octopods can hit, and the Zion Pulsers, however, are getting distracted by Octo, so not killing the Octopods in time. So this, not a bad placement, but those Octos, really nice use of them for distraction. One of them did die, but regardless, it stopped the Octopods from getting killed, and Vermind. Actually, I'm not sure if Vermind's in a good position to deal with this. No, he is. He isn't even microing them to get rid of the Octopod. I don't think they can see the Octopod from that point of view. So Vermind has lost his Zion Pulsers. He's not going to be able to re-micro this. Ferreter is in too good of a position to do so. And yeah, he couldn't see up the cliff. However, the infantry are coming in and dealing a bit of damage. But this is 20 seconds ahead of where Ferreter is, so Ferreter can just run back in and kill off the Octopod. And Zion, Zion Veer trying to do what it can to get rid of the Octopod here. Almost killed it. Almost. 25 health away, but not nearly enough. The Shin Veer will not be able to deal enough damage in time, especially since it doesn't know what's attacking it from the looks of it. And Vermind also getting attacked by Sippy Pods, attacking this Calm Hub. He has some Shin Pulsers around the map, which is, as I mentioned before, kind of unusual. People don't tend to build Shin Pulsers, but getting a couple of them for general support could be a good idea. I've, I haven't seen them enough to even know first to know. I, I play Vector and I haven't used them enough firsthand. That's that's how rarely they are used. But as a harassment force, that seems to be his. Well, that's where he's going for. The Octos, once again, being used for distraction because they have no way of attacking, but should be useful distraction. So Vermind getting himself a foundation, possibly for healing. Possibly for depots as backup, just in case, though he needs an aerial control center to make that work, so most likely a healing foundation. But with the semi-pods coming in, and another semi-pod coming up the ground, there's going to be no way to deal with this. And the foundation push, actually, Ferreter will be aware of this. Ferreter, about 20 seconds ahead of here, getting rid of the Shin Belsers and having a bit of trouble with the Shin Veers, but really not too much. The Shin Veer are not worried about getting rid of the semi-pods, which they should be. But... That's, th three Zappy Pods is way too much for Shin Pulsers. Shin Pulsers are gen cheap generalist units. They are not anti-air. They are not dedicated anti-air units, so they aren't great against a large number of Zappy Pods. However, they are attacking from a healing angle from Vermine's point of view, and Vermine might... Vermine's put Ferreter in an interesting position because Ferreter has healing as much as Vermine does at this point. And Vermine also has a bit of attack potential. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't used any of these to turn him into Bastions at all. This is a little bit odd, but still, he has Shin Turtles, he has Shin Pulsers, he's using tip Skip Teleport a lot in this game. And Octos are coming in as well from Ferreter. That will be able to get rid of the Foundations without much issue. But the Sebi Pods are going down, and those are, like I said, more expensive than the Shin Pulsers are. But the Octos successfully distracting the Shin Pulsers, but the Sebi Pods can take care of them. 
And the Octopods coming in from behind, getting rid of the foundations while the Octos do the distraction work. Ferreter will be able to push this no problem, and as you can see from his point of view, he's succeeded in doing so. Yeah, Vermine's foundations. Quite a lot of money. That's 200 LC wasted right there. Like, there is... And there goes that... Com well, the comp's not even being a concern, but there goes the RP up in front. And Ferret is going for a massive counter push, and I think this is going to be the game. I don't think Vermont has any way of defending in his main base. He's going to be building up... No, he's not building up vehicles. He has the resources to do it, but he's building up a foundation instead. And bearing in mind that those foundations could have been Teth Churchers. Or even Teth Pulsers. That would have worked pretty well, too. Especially with Skip Teleport. But instead, he went for foundations, and I think that's going to cost Vermine the game. Ferrer's counter push is still going towards the base, but yeah, it's dealing a ton of damage. Getting rid of the aerial control center, getting rid of the annex and depot quickly as well. Even with the healing, even with the Shin Turcher, this is—I mean, the Shin Turcher's not going to be able to deal with the Sepi pods. And Vermine is now spending some money, getting Shin Pulsar and Teth Turcher. Sorry, Teth Pulsar and Shin Pulsar. At this point, it's probably too late. The Teth Pulsar is the only real chance that Vermine has at this point. But it's taken a while to be built up. And the I think he may have changed it accidentally to two Shin Pulsars. So yeah, Vermine has pretty much lost the game. I see no way of him getting out. He has no units around the map. And this is why I was very confused about what he was doing. Because I could not see how throwing the infantry up like that would be helpful. I... Yeah, I don't know. He did some odd things. It was nice to see Shin Pulsars. You, you don't see those often enough, but I do suspect it's for a reason. <laughs> However, against Sepi Pods, really not a great idea. Against CISO, it might work okay, but not against Grekum. Not with Sepi Pods being used up. So, Vermine surrendering, and that was game one of day four. Vermine versus Ferreter, so nicely done to Ferreter. I mean, once the game is official and he actually does surrender. Looks like Vermine a bit reluctant to actually hit the surrender button. Which is which is good, even though he has officially surrendered. That's why is Vermine not actually hitting the surrender button? I suppose there wasn't really a rule saying that typing in GG counts as surrender. But it's typically taken as convention. So Ferreter winning the game. Nicely done, and see that we will now be moving on to watching Ferder fight J Raccoon for the match against Rock Mox, and then from there, whoever wins fights Crown Aberrant and goes to the tournament. So that will be coming up very shortly. Stay tuned.